finally, it's Riders Up, and time for the foremost preview of the Triple Crown. The $500,000 Florida Derby is moments away. Tell Ayers Thoroughbred Racing Review for the best of horse racing history on YouTube. But yes, there are horses running today. Very exciting three-year-olds in the 500,000 guaranteed Florida Derby, a grade one stake, the jewel of the Florida season. Number one, Silver Sunset from the 3G stable, trained by the always dangerous Luis Olivares and ridden by the top local rider, Doug Valiente. Number two, a speed horse, Lucerarian's Big Stanley, trained by George Gianos and ridden by Eclipse Award jockey, Jose Santos. Number three, Crown Collection from Gene Klein, D. Wayne Lucas, Team Lucas assistant trainer, Karen McLaughlin in charge of the Florida operation, ridden by Jacinto Vasquez. Number four, Harbor View Farms reaffirming, also from Team Lucas, ridden by Walter Garrett. Number five, the undefeated Feather Ridge, owned by Taylor Asbury and trained by Rusty Arnold, ridden by Craig Perrette. His question, he's been a great success on grass, can he handle dirt? Number six, G. Morano's Triple Buck, trained by the Macho Man, Butch Lenzini, a dangerous horse, had a big race off a layoff last time out, now Jorge Velasquez may have him in full gear. Number seven, Traskwood, owned by the Lavalli Stable, also trained by Rusty Arnold, ridden by the ever-dangerous Angel Cordero, and this horse had a very rough trip in the Fountain of Houston, could be dangerous. Number eight, the best three-year-old in Florida so far, Bayard Sharp and Bill Farish's Dixieland Brass, the favorite, trained by the crafty Charlie Peoples and ridden by Randy Romero. Number nine, Nancy Veneer's Western Playboy, trained by Harvey Veneer and ridden by the champion jockey Pat Day. Disappointed last time, but may still have something in it. Number 10, C.T. Spencer's Mercedes One, set the pace in the Fountain of Youth and finished a brave second, trained by Arnold Fink, ridden by the speed rider, Early Fires. And finally, the West Coast Invader, J.S. Meredith's Hawkster, trained by Ron McAnally. You may recall a pretty decent horse he had over the years called John Henry, ridden by Lafitte Finkai. And if you don't recall what he does, you probably shouldn't be tuned in here. That's the field, a lot of excitement, horses with many possibilities, and let's go to Ross Morton to sort them out. They're all in. They're off and running in the 38th edition of the Florida Derby. Big Stanley is out for the early lead. Mercedes won, looking for position on the far outside, and now moving over toward the rail to get the lead. It's Mercedes won with early fires to set that early pace. Big Stanley in behind his second, Hawkster on the outside, and between horses moving up is Triple Buck. These four in contention on the clubhouse turn. Then we come back to Traskwood is fifth. Dixieland Brass, a length and a half back, six. Western Playboy on the outside, seventh. Fezzel Ridge, two lengths back is eighth. Then there's six back to Silver Sunsets, Rhea Fermi and Crown Collection. They went the quarter, good time, 23 and two. They move up the back stretch. Mercedes one under a good hold, has the lead by a length. Triple Buck is second. Big Stanley a close up third on the rail. Hawkster on the outside stalking the early leaders. A length and a half, Traskwood is fifth. They've opened up six lengths on Western Playboy. Feather Ridge in on the rail. Then back to Dixieland, Brass and Crown Collection. 46 and four for the uh, half. It looks like uh, the favorite is in trouble on the back stretch and may be pulling up. And it's pulling up, Dixieland Brass pulling up. They're midway on the turn. Mercedes one, keeping to the lead, being pressured on the outside now by Big Stanley. Traskwood beginning to make a move on the outside, three quarters and one eleven. They move toward the top of the stretch. Mercedes one still there with the lead. Early fires letting out a notch, holding that lead, opening up by two and a half. It's Mercedes one, drawing away by three. Western Playboy is not going to catch him. It's all Mercedes one, going away by four and a half lengths. Western Playboy battles with Big Stanley for second. Mercedes one by four. Western Playboy second, Big Stanley third, and Huckster was fourth. On a day of great excitement and festivity like this one, uh, uh, sometimes you forget the heartbreak that also goes with this game. And uh, uh, describe uh, exactly what happened to Dixieland Brass. He left there running and uh, he wasn't comfortable. 
and I worked myself out a little bit, and, and he still went up. I thought it was the dirt maybe bothering him, but he he just was he just wasn't to himself, and I just wheeled him out to the outside and just went ahead and pulled him up. Uh, this front running ride had to be one of the highlights. Yeah, Pete, I'll tell you what, he really he really dug in when I asked him to run. Left the gate pretty good shape, you know, when he got across there good. And when I asked him to run, he just kicked in and got to running. And, he, you know, he had his pace pretty well his way all the way over. But that kind of helped quite a bit. Uh, your emotions right now? Emotions? Well, I'm, I really don't have a mount for the Derby, and uh, I hope he's it. You know, I mean, that, that's all I can say for the Kentucky Derby. And uh, the way he run and, and as much heart he showed, maybe he could be one of them. And so an exciting speed-filled contest. Mercedes won, wire to wire, holding off Western Playboy in the stretch with Big Stanley, another speed horse, third. But behind the speed, there was also the bittersweet heartbreak that comes with racing when the best colt this year in South Florida, Dixieland Brass, broke down. For the best in historic horse racing action is Thoroughbred Racing Review. Subscribe on YouTube and read the rest of the story on Facebook. Subscribe now.